interesting, but this story was just great for me. You've heard of Twittering. You've heard of Twitter, yes. right? And, and people send these tweets out to a following of their people, whoever wants to subscribe. A tweet is basically a microblog. And what that is, is it's simply 140 characters. Say whatever it is you want to say to the world, but only in 140 characters. So all these famous people have started to tweet or Twitter on a regular basis. Smart concept, right? Well, guess who is taking advantage of this concept to try to propagate their purpose? That would be the church and pastors in churches who are using Twitter and tweets to try to keep people, uh, you know, in a positive, healthy, enlightened mood all day long. So they send out these tweets after their sermons are over to keep people upbeat and to give you that little shot of goodness in the middle of your day when you're feeling frustrated. The last time I read a story about uh, tweet was former speaker Gingrich. <laughs> <laughs> I went to La Mistral in McLean. I ordered the fish. My wife ordered this, but my fish was better. <laughs> Some people care. <laughs> Apparently, though, that this is quite successful now for these churches. And the best part is people walk away from the churches twittering to each other about these things. So it's a whole subculture. But they asked the churches why they decided to adopt Twitter. And you know what the answer was? Because Twitter is hot. <laughs> so they're using the hottest new technologies to get their message out. Folks, next up is Sanjay Puri in our In Conversation. He's the face and the voice of U.S. Impact, which has grown so hugely in the last five years. He'll be our guest up next. And that's all that we have for you today, folks. We hope you have a wonderful weekend and stay tuned for the conversation. Namaste. Namaste.